So really quick before we get into this video, I want to do one of three things. The first thing is to kind of highlight this video over here, because I've been lazy in making this video, and they've made a video that's pretty much my also thoughts on this whole entire thing. If you want to go watch their video, they also have a much easier voice to listen to. I'm pretty sure my voice is going to clip and stuff, but I want to take a second, highlight it, so you guys can see and go, well, that's not what we want to do. I just wanted to highlight the name. Here we go. I don't know how to control stuff. There we go. So make sure you go watch their video as well. Second thing I'm going to do is actually just read verbatim the avatar performance ranking system, what it does, what it means, what it says, and then close out like my final thoughts with some in-game examples with some avatars I went and collected to show you. So with that being said, first and foremost, just going to read this. It says like this, avatar performance ranking system. The avatar performance ranking system allows you to see how much a user's avatar is affecting performance via analysis of the components on that avatar's or user's avatar. You can also use it on yourself to see how performant your avatar is. This system is purely informational at this time and implements no new limits other than the SDK's limits on polygons. These numbers will likely change as time goes on. This system is not meant to be an in all to all authority on avatar performance, but is a good general guide to indicate if an avatar needs to or just needs a bit more work to be performant. Let's make sure I can say words properly in this video. How about that? Performance ranking icons. When you open your quick menu, you'll see icons appear at the top of the nameplates of users. These icons on the left side, just inside the notch, indicate the performance rank of that user's avatar. And we'll get into that in just a second right here, because it has the ranks as follows. They have a green one, like a solid green dot with a black star in the center of it. That's excellent. This is as good as you can get. They have a good one, which is pretty much like a black dot with a green outline and a green dot in the center. That's good. Pretty dang good and definitely good enough. Thank you for using that so I can keep this video monetized. Uh, then they have one which kind of has like an orange, like an orange light if you want to think about it that way. That's medium. It's pretty good but could use a little work. The red dot and the red circle is poor. Definitely needs some work. And the final one with an exclamation point in the middle of it is very poor. This user probably stole your frames. And that's one of the things too. This is kind of about if you're in a world with a lot of people and you're dropping frames suddenly like that, it could just be lag and there's a lot of people in the world. It could be because someone has an avatar that takes up a lot of frames. That's something we'll talk in about in a second though. Let me get into that, I promise. But viewing detailed avatar stats. If you click on a user with your quick menu option or open, man, I really can't say words today. You'll notice a new show avatar stats button on the left side displaying the icon of that user's performance rank. I also show these when we get in game two, by the way. So we'll go over this again with visual representation once I finish this. If you click this icon, you can view the detailed avatar stats of that avatar. You can get this for your own avatar by going to your avatar menu, clicking one of your avatars, and clicking the avatar stats button in the bottom left of the screen. When you click the avatar stats button, you'll get a screen pop-up with the details of avatars you're looking at, or your own avatar if you click on the button in the avatar tab. The color of the text matches the rank on that particular stat, drags down the rank. I read that wrong, let me reread that. The color of the text matches the rank that the particular stat drags the rank down to. In the case above, the user has 8 materials. This colors the dark green text because that stat pulls the avatar down to good. You can also see that we link in our documentation, in particular our avatar optimization tips. Then it also goes over avatar performance ranking stats. Here's a list of all the statistics that the system looks at and their descriptions. Things from polygons, bound size, skin meshes, meshes, unique materials, dynamic bones, which is something we're going to talk about in a second as well, dynamic bone transformations, dynamic bone colliders, dynamic bone collision, check, count, animators, uh, bones, lights, particle systems, total particle archive, or active, man, I cannot, my eyes are getting really bad. Uh, mesh particle, active polygons, and actually a pretty decent list of different things. And the thing about that is, especially if you don't make avatars and kind of wondering, what are all these things? Well, there are things that can be controlled by the person making the avatars if you commission it, or you do make your own avatars yourself. So one thing to note just real quick, if you're worried about all these things, these are all things with the values down here, which we'll get into right now, that you can control and possibly alter if your avatar isn't considered in good performance. 
After performance ranks, maximum values per rank. Here are the numbers for each of the ranks. If you go above these numbers for any category, you'll be bumped into the next rank. For example, if your avatar has two skin meshes, your avatar will be ranked as good, as that exceeds the rating for very good, but does not exceed the rating for good. Polygons are a somewhat special case. If you have 32k or less, you're marked as very good. Any number higher than 32k, but lower than 70,001 will be marked as good unless other stats pull you down. And it basically has all those stats we just named with like specific numbers next to them about, you know, what's very good, what's medium, what's good, what's poor. And it goes through that for all of them. Now this is one I kind of want to talk about right here. And we'll also get into this a little bit more later. As you notice, it says for dynamic bones, dynamic bones transformations, dynamic bones colliders. Basically, what's good... What's a good amount for those? None. You just don't want dynamic bones at all. Just just keep it at zero, and you'll be very good. Apparently, and that's that's something that's been kind of a kind of joked and memed about, and it's been kind of funny. That's at the bottom of this too. So just to go over something really quick and why I brought the other person's video as well. Just because your avatar might come up as like a poor rating does not mean it's a poor avatar in terms of the quality. Because one of the I guess quote unquote drama that's kind of developed around this is whole you know my avatar you know i put a lot of time into this i put a lot of effort into this i think it's a great avatar i think it looks great etc etc it's not the game is not saying and this rating is not saying that it's a, a poor avatar that even though you put in all that work this is like low effort content or something like that this is more about you know when it comes to frames and stuff like that how it affects other people's performance within the game so if you made like a magnificent beautiful avatar and it's ranked poor because it maybe has even one dynamic bone it's not them saying it's an ugly avatar, your work's invalid, or nothing like that. It's not invalidating any of that. That's something that's, you know, just to be talked about and known more about. Because that was one thing when this first came out was like, well, wait a second. I thought this was good. I was confident in my work, and this kind of just shot my confidence to heck. It's really not about that. It is more about, you know, how this affects, like, the lag and stuff like that. Not at all to do with, you know, the effort you put into making something good, great, fantastic, visually beautiful, and stuff like that. So just want to note that. Now, one second, we're going to switch into game so I can show you the in-game stuff. At least I hope we are finally in-game. Let's see. Alright, so we should be in game now. Now, this is just a home spawn world, and I realize I don't have any mirrors in here, which I probably should have put a mirror in here for this. So it does mean we probably will have to go to a world with a mirror, so I can kind of show you like the visual both for this and then also just so you guys can see it too, right? I guess we could get away with doing it just right here. Maybe we can get away with doing it just right here. If not, then I apologize. Maybe it's kind of hard to see, I guess, is what I'm saying. But I basically see if I can... Re uh, well, like, it's phasing in and out of existence. That's that's the issue that I'm having. One moment. Maybe I'll have to be right back and get us a mirror. Never mind. Okay, so really briefly quick. I have three different avatars here, so I can kind of show you what kind of things look like, right? I have the Monokuma avatar right here that I've been using like forever as long as I've been playing this game and as you can see down here here's avatar st there we go now it lightens up a bit here's avatar stats as you can see it actually says that this is an excellent avatar and one of the things you'll notice it's because it has no dynamic bones of like any really at all and that's kind of like I said been something that's kind of been memed about uh, if you people know who Kimple is for example which you kind of should if you don't within VR chat and stuff uh, that's one of the things they've kind of been memeing about that's been making me laugh quite a bit is people have kind of taken it and kind of expanded this whole thing there's been like a good side and maybe more of a, a dramatic side for some people but on the, on the more lighthearted, funny side people are saying things like oh the the extra you in your name isn't optimized and stuff like that and it's great but some people have been you know generally concerned about this because it's like well People, what if they go, hey, your avatar is not, you know, overall performance is good. I'm going to kick you from this world. You can't hang out with us. Kind of the whole fear with the elitism that came with the ranking system when they said, you know, if you were a new user or a visitor and stuff like that, or not a trusted user and stuff like that. Now, A, by that logic, I should be like everybody's friend. And I'm not. So, you know, there, there you go. There's your hope for you right there. But furthermore, it, it is more about, you know, um, first, right now, I don't know if it's going to change. It might change in the future. I might make another video, depending uh, if there's updates about this, of course. But it does seem to be kind of relevant to 
bones and the fact that for example this doesn't so it's considered good even though it has all of these other things as you can see as well um, that's one example now let's go to another avatar I got three different avatars and if you kind of a little bit spoiler if you're ahead of me it's basically because they all have three different ratings you can kind of see what those ratings are why won't this go away there we go let's go to this other Monokuma avatar I have by Haram I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong and I'm sorry but uh, as you can see right there this is made by them Let's see if it'll do the same thing, if it'll brighten up a little bit, because it is a little bit different and it's also a little bit taller, so I can actually play chest. There we go. So as you can see, it does look a little bit different. It doesn't look too different. It's the same character after all. But if I hit this, what you will notice is it's actually overall good. But what you will also notice is it doesn't have any dynamic bones. So dynamic bones, and one of the reasons I kind of want to talk about that is because even though it's been memed and stuff, you know, it's not necessarily, you know, the only thing that seems to be affecting, you know, ratings and stuff, right? Like, by that logic, this one's like the other one. It should be excellent overall as well. It's not. Only thing I can know that's really different is that on the uh, animators down here, it's a three instead of one like the other one. So that might have bumped it down a little bit, as well as, you know, maybe some extra polygons and stuff like that. So that's part of why people are kind of maybe worried or at least concerned about this because they're kind of wondering what exactly these numbers mean even though we went over the numbers chart and stuff like that before how you know people were pinboarding or at least trying to pinpoint dynamic bones being a reason and then maybe not and then last yeah these are all danganronpa based by the way that that's also a spoiler if you go here to this avatar that i have over here this one should be an example well never mind maybe that this is better now I'm gonna let it load. It should load, and it should be, yeah, this one, meanwhile, it's like, oh, hey, this is an example of a very poor avatar, right? And again, visually, all three of them, it's not like there's, like, janky, like, there's glitches, and an arm looks like it's broken, stuff like that, right? But it is, as you can see down here, dynamic bone transformations, 107. Dynamic bone collision check count, 507. Uh, dynamic bone components, even that the fact that that's 5, and even though the dynamic bone colliders are 9, um, that that is an example of you know things that can affect the avatar but again it's just I guess one of the things I want to highlight is it's not really about the visual of the avatar it's 100% about things like this so the person that made this one for example probably put a lot of time and effort into it so it's not really about oh you're just making low effort content etc etc if anything I'd argue this world that I'm currently currently making, this is the world I built, and it's not done yet, there's a lot of empty space as you can see. I'd argue this is an example of maybe low effort content, right? There's not a lot really going on here. I finally learned how to add player mods so people can jump and stuff. But if anything, I'd roast myself before I'd roast other people. But one of the things about this is I wanted to make a video about it is A, to kind of just explain the first part, right? Some people just get right to the point. That's what we went over the first part, read verbatim basically what the change was and what's going on and how that goes about. A couple of different examples by showing you three different avatars that have three different rankings, but as you can see, it's not a visual thing, it's just more about what they have in terms of like bones and such like that, animators, etc. And so then to just kind of end the video just being like, you know what, if you do have an avatar that is not maybe optimal rating and stuff, A, don't beat yourself up over it because maybe it was the thing like I'm mentioning constantly about you thinking it's about them saying your avatar is poor quality as in the work you put in is poor uh, and undeserving and stuff like that. It's not. It's, it's really not. It's about some other things that they are going to be cleaning up. If I'm understanding this is in beta. So there's going to be a while before this is like 100% like fleshed out and like I believe as mentioned in the other video at the very beginning that I mentioned that you should check out. They are working on putting a like I believe certain number limit and stuff on it so you'll be able to like know exactly when you're making avatars and commissioning avatars which you want to aim for then so that way it can be in a good rating if that's a thing. On top of that, when I mentioned the drama and stuff, I mentioned the lighthearted stuff like Kimple and the, and the funny things around there. But there is also the elitism kind of a thing about, hey, I'm not going to hang out with you. I'm going to kick you from this world because you're causing me to lag and crash and stuff. That is what it is. If that's really going to be a thing, it was going to be a thing probably anyway. Probably people looking for an excuse to do that, kind of like with the ranking system. But as such, there are just as many people that will still not mind, you know, anyways, right? If, if you're not really crashing their world, it's probably not going to matter. Like, one, another reason that I kind of brought up Kimple specifically, I didn't really want to name drop too many people, but one reason I brought them up is uh, some of their avatars originally weren't um, in the excellent rating. But as someone who's gone on like five, a couple of ventures with them now, it's been pretty cool, uh, didn't really affect me all that much. So there was no real reason to have to block them or anything like that. It was totally fine. And I'm on desktop. That's part of why I do these videos too. So if I'm on desktop and this is able to work the, as well as it is, you probably watching probably have a better setup and system and machine and can make it work even better than that. So in, in the future and going forwards, just a little bit of a, you know, kind of encouragement. 
about a couple of things. Once again, you know, make sure that you understand it's not a personal attack against your work. Make sure to know that the, I think this is in beta. I keep saying that. I'm not 100% sure about that, but like it's going to probably be fleshed out a bit more in the future. And also, hopefully, this won't stop and make people kind of like discriminate against you and your avatars. Or, uh, worst case scenario, I guess you could go find this Monokuma avatar, which was in the Super Danganronpa 2 world, or at least it was until the world got updated, and now all the avatars are gone, so that's a thing. Um, but on a more serious note, hopefully that your takeaway from this video is A, uh, the stuff at the beginning, hopefully that clears that up if that was confusing, and B, what exactly might, you know, if you're a commissioner, or you're someone that gets commissioned, you might know a little bit more about what to try and do and look for and make a model around to try and help that out. But that's going to be all from this video for me. You've been listening to me talk and ramble for long enough now without structure and stuff. So I'm going to end the video there and say thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as hit that bell notification if you so desire. But I don't know which video will be next. We're just going to have to wait and see. So until next time, take care and enjoy pizza responsibly. Thank you for watching.